Apple Watch Series 4, a few days later, was it really worth the upgrade? That's the question I'm going to go ahead and answer for you guys. Now a bit of a background, I'm a man with simple needs. All I really use a smartwatch for is just your simple notifications. Yeah, maybe occasionally if my hands are full, I'll make a phone call using my wrist. But that's about the most you'll see me use a smartwatch for. Everything else, I'll just let it do its thing and track in my activities and habits. So the Apple Watch I went ahead and picked up was the Nike Plus Edition Series 4. The one with the reflective wristband which I'm surprised a lot of people didn't know about this option, which we'll cover a bit more about this band in just a little bit. Now, after switching from my previous Apple Watch, the Series 2 Nike Plus Edition, I immediately noticed the notifications were instantly coming to my wrists. And I have used the Series 3 Apple Watch, but I never noticed a significant improvement like this to really get me to say, wow. That new S4 chip really does an incredible job. The performance is tremendously faster. Applications open up quick and switching back and forth between watch faces feels really snappy. It's very responsive, it's equivalent to a modern smartphone when it comes to speed I'll say. And with that new slightly larger body, 60% body to screen ratio, reading your text messages, seeing some images that get sent to your wrist is a lot more pleasant than it was in the past. Before I still had to take out my phone at times to make out some images. This With this one, I'm less likely to do that. And even with that larger screen, this thing still gets a impressive battery life. I've been getting some really great, incredible battery life from this watch. Here's a picture I took at 8 a.m. in the morning, and 10 hours later, it has more than half of battery life percentage still left in a single charge, giving me confidence that this watch could easily achieve a day and a half or even more under a single charge. So new watch phases was something that we've seen in the past whenever Apple released like a new OS. But this new one that utilizes the screen size on the Series 4 can really give you all the information you'll ever need all on your wrist. And admittedly, I'm sure many of you guys could also agree. And when I first saw this clock face, I thought it was the most ugliest thing I've ever seen. With all this color and information just going everywhere, it just doesn't look really pleasing to look at. But once I arranged everything to my liking, I found this Apple Watch could definitely be a great use to the right person. For instance, I'm a drone hobbyist so I fly, occasionally fly my drone and one of the most important things that I sometimes forget to do is check the wind direction as well as the speed it's traveling. This actually gives you the added information all off your wrist. So when I'm flying my drone, I no longer have to switch apps because sometimes I tend to forget. I am now able to simply take a quick glance on my wrist to gather all that information. So if you're a drone pilot, you might like this. So the reflective band that's available on the Nike Plus edition Apple Watches is smart and really is a clever innovation. This band actually serves multiple purposes, not just holding your smartwatch. It now is a safety equipment. So joggers, morning joggers, night joggers, cyclists will definitely like this. But for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of it. Although it is comfortable to wear, easy to place on and take off, but I like to remain low key. When you're walking across the street or crossing the parking lot, you will stand out like a Thor thumb. So if you don't like eyes to always be on you, I would just pick a standard Apple Watch band. Just thought I should share this with you guys. So health and fitness has always been a topic that Apple has been really proud of. And I could definitely agree, out of all the smartwatches I use, fitness trackers I used, Apple Watch hands down is the ultimate companion for this. And with this latest Series 4 Apple Watch, they definitely took this to the next level. Having the innovative ECG that will be enabled pretty soon, hopefully, and the fall detection allows you to get medical help as quickly as possible. If let's say worst comes to worst and you accidentally knock yourself out while having a really bad fall, instead of just bleeding out or something worse, hopefully not, this watch, you'll be able to get a hold of emergency responders in just a few seconds. So that for me is dope. And the new innovation to activate Siri, simply raise your wrist and she immediately begins listening as soon as you say a few words. And response definitely a lot quicker than before. There are very few times when she actually gives me the dot 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 like in past Apple Watches. And honestly, I'm the last person that comes to mind when it comes to using Siri. Since my household is filled with other voice assists, I'd rather use them. But the convenience of Siri just doing this just takes this to a whole new level. It's like my personal voice assist 
similar to Jarvis, just not as smart. But I don't know. Let me know down in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Series 4 Apple Watch. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave it a thumbs up as well as subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more tech videos like this in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have a good one. Take care. Peace.